During a CNN town hall in Cincinnati, Ohio, this month, President Joe Biden called for use of a tool long touted by police reform advocates, access to police disciplinary records. We have to have rules where you can be able to determine what the background is, how many times a cop has violated the rules, and be able to have access to what's going on in police departments so the Justice Department can get involved in whether or not they have to change their pattern and practices," Biden said. The fight for access to police personnel records has picked up urgency recently, as calls for police accountability have renewed in the wake of George Floyd's death last year, as well as other high-profile killings of black Americans by police. Derek Chauvin, the police officer convicted of murdering Floyd, had 18 complaints filed against him during his 19 years with Minneapolis police. Chauvin used force or was involved in an incident in which force was used during eight instances. And Chauvin is just one example in a larger trend in which officers can keep working despite continued misconduct. According to an investigation from USA Today in 2019, more than 85,000 police officers have been investigated or disciplined for misconduct in the past decade and 30,000 officers were decertified by state oversight agencies. The George Floyd Justice Policing Act of 2021, introduced originally in 2020, would create a federal registry of police misconduct complaints and disciplinary actions. The bill passed through the House on mostly party lines in early March but has met gridlock in Senate. But the move to make the records public is more difficult than it seems, experts say. Here's why. America has long emphasized the importance of state and local autonomy, and police forces are no different. There are around 18,000 police departments across the United States, including about 15,400 local police departments, according to the Department of Justice. Each has its own rules, responsibilities, and powers, including the processes by which they discipline their officers and record data on their employees. Most don't collect the same kinds of information, making the process of crunching police conduct data into one uniform database difficult and time-consuming, says Mara Kwaja, director of public strategy at the Invisible Institute. What we've learned in just doing this in Chicago, that the way that the city government maintains and creates data changes from almost year to year, Every few years they move to a different database. Even being sure that an officer is the same person from year to year is very tough," said Kwaja. If an officer moves departments, tracking their conduct can become nearly impossible. There's no unique identifier for each individual officer in the country, so if an officer gets fired or resigns, they can easily move to another jurisdiction and start working, and there's no real way to track that throughout the country," said Kwaja.